What's up, guys? I uh, just want to hop on here for a second and just say thank you for all the people who have liked and viewed our videos and uh, all the people that have subscribed. And uh, we've been working hard for y'all, trying to put out as much content as we can. Uh, we actually hit a thousand views on our first video uh, last night, so we're pretty pumped about that. And uh, so we're going to try to get another video tonight. Lance should be pulling up here any minute now. And uh, I just got off work. He just got out of church. And uh, we're going to try to cut star tonight. See what we can get done. So do me a favor. Like and subscribe to our channel. That way y'all get all of our latest content. Uh, we're not going to be just doing, you know, exclusively coon hunting. Uh, once turkey season rolls around, we're going to try to drop some turkey videos for y'all. And, of course, uh, we got Alex Doss with old Juicy. And uh, hopefully we can get y'all squirrel video out soon. So, uh, so man, y'all stay tuned. We've got a lot of content coming up for y'all. And, uh, again, like and subscribe, man. That will really help us out. And uh, we greatly appreciate it. And I uh, hope y'all enjoy the video. Oh, you want me to read? Oh, I had no <laughs> Man, I'm ready to go tree coon. <laughs> what about you, Samson? Yes, sir. We are headed to the gas station to grab a few essentials before we head to the woods. We really have no business going coon hunting tonight. Right? It's a full moon, it's windy, but we're going to give her a shot. They say to tree a coon on a full, month, full night, you got to have a coon dog. And I'm not quite sure we have a coon dog. We have a dog that trees coons. So, we'll see. I'm excited. It's Wednesday night. I just got out of church. Jake just got off work. We are... We're missing all Adolf's tonight. Uh, we can't get his, his hind end out here. He likes some squirrel dogs too much. But, uh, we're going to go tree a coon for him anyways. We're going to go to some public ground. Now, let me tell you, this place we're going, it is not full of coons. There's not a ton of coons here, but... I've treated them over there, and uh, there's a few places on the public land that I think the coons are. So we're gonna go give it a shot. We're not gonna. We're gonna be gone all weekend, um, so we wanted to run her at least once and try to see if we could uh, put a few coons up. Where all the star uh, won her first? Yeah, it's where she won her first comp hunt. The only comp hunt I put her in, she won it, and it was over here on this piece of public. So who knows? I know there's at least one coon. <laughs> We're gonna give it a shot. We'll see you guys in the woods. Oh. <laughs> All right, folks, we cut her earlier and it's, we shouldn't be out here. I mean, it's like super windy. It's died down a little bit right now, but it was, it's been bad. And we cut her the first time she gets out like 400 yards doesn't strike anything and all of a sudden i can't even hear her, but i'm watching the garmin and she goes into full bark mode like all the bars show up she's barking 80 barks a minute and all of a sudden she just shuts it off and takes off running away from it well we finally got to her she circled way back around came to us and i smelled her 100 yards away <laughs> she got lit up by a skunk i mean he squared her up so she must have ran right up on him, started barking, and he sprayed her. 
But she don't smell that great. I don't know how she's gonna smell anything. Well, we came over here and recut her. She's went in here 94 yards of fell tree. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. We have no clue. She may have a coon. We'll go find out. We're hoping the GoPro caught some of the skunk ordeal. If nothing else, her yelping with her tail between her legs running away. Uh, we're gonna go in here and check this tree out. See what's see what she's saying. We'll see you at the tree. I got him. Just keep that light on. guys we just wanted to let you know what went on up there um, like we told you we cut earlier and she went in and got hit by a skunk and ended up coming back to the truck well, we just drove down the road probably a couple miles and we cut over on another piece we literally cut her and it was so windy earlier we just got in the truck we literally just sat in the truck and I've got my Garmin will tell me if she's barking or whatever she's doing so we just sat in the truck and was gonna wait on her to get treed. She goes in here 100 yards and falls treed. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I didn't have a whole lot of confidence walking to that tree, but uh, we didn't have far to walk. So we got in there and sure enough, she had put a coon up. Now the coon was a little bit of a smaller coon. And so we made a decision not to knock it out. We've been shooting a lot of coons out to her lately and there's a reason for that. She's been going through a little bit of a funk We've been working on some issues and I've been trying to reward her when she does it right. And uh, she's been doing good. She's treated some coons here lately. So I told the guys, I said, we need to start leaving some of these coons up. And this was a perfect one to do. It was a smaller coon. She did a good job, but we left the coon in the tree. We caught her off of it, brought her to the box and you can tell how wired she is now. But uh, she did a good job. We're proud of her. We are probably gonna call it. We got lucky tonight. It's super windy, full moon. We got lucky and put one up within 100 yards from the truck, so we're probably going to call it, get home before it's too late, and uh, do it another night. See you guys next time. <laughs>